Hello Galaxy Heroes. This is uh, a dual vid, so it starts off with Yorkie doing Ground War Mythic tier, and then um, I try out a character on my main account. No spoiler, no early spoilers, or whatever. You probably can guess. But um, starting off, it's about the additional protection that all these droids get, and just how effective slapping that Omega onto a Soko is. Oh my days. I mean, she just chews through it. In fact, it's brilliant against all the buffs. I've been kind of calling her uh, the light side um, Nihilus. Because under uh, a Padme lead, she she can annihilate plus obviously on her basic she takes away the buffs so um so yeah i wanted to try it out in on the mythic tier um mythic tier was very problematic i mean there were i think there are a lot of videos on how to achieve or or complete this tier uh but that was before um, we got Bastilla Sham because she was a game changer. Um, there's an accented way of saying that as well, but that's more my girls than me. Um, yeah, so she was introduced, and then obviously, since Darth, uh, Darth Revan, no, since Jedi Knight Revan, um, it's yeah, it's really doable caveat there of course is that you have to have those tunes um caveat with this squad is that you have to have the tunes as well i'm thinking most of us now are able to complete heroic tank um and therefore get um, access to general kenobi shards and then from there on obviously seven star him um and that you're accessing the the get the guild event store tokens required for hermit yoda although i don't know how much i mean i am denied at the start of this whether to put hermit in there or not because he's not galactic republic which means that his specials won't proc ahsoka's but you know there's enough going on with um, Yoda does enough he, specials and you know he's a term meter monster so he's constantly doing something and they've given us the additional um, buffs that you can call in as well which just by them triggering sets her off so yeah you know, it was a compromise but it just gave him a bit of protection up and it was a healer and my Zated Barris is gear eight i could have done it with her i think quite easily but i'm waffling now the main thing about this well yeah so the main reason for recording this one here was just about that additional protection um i think in in actual fact i've jumped the gun here and i should wait for us to clear this round um but then I don't know. I know that there's lots of better uses for Kenobi and Yoda, but throw in a healer as well. Um, you've got the 212 coming in off of General Kenobi. Through his lead, anyone that heals calls all available Jedis, I believe it is, in to assist i.e. another 212. And if you've got Hermit Yoda, of course you've then got, once they've all got Master's Training, you've got another 212. So it's just constant. And if you pop in buffs, she's just going and going and going. And with that, right, here we go. So I wasted the bounce as such. Well, not really, because of course now Yoda's taken that on. But look, 
all this additional protection, basic boom, they're exposed. Now we can take them out. I'm not sure what happens here. I'm pretty sure I put this onto a soaker, but it clears. Mr. Beardy. Not sure. Nah, whatever. Look, boom. And now it's just a case of, well, that was a, uh, yeah, see, I realised my mistake. I missed out on taking one with the bonus protection, just getting that clear. Because uh, that's still one of the things. There you go. Annihilate. Mini annihilate, shall we say. Um, one of the things about this is just the... Okay, how long? Yeah. Right, I see, I missed again there. I should have put it onto one of the other two but just procking that her assist and clearing all those buffs and specifically the the bonus protection because that's what takes the time you know <clears throat> you can put grievous down fairly quickly but then you slap it onto auto um to do all the cleanup. If you slap it onto auto everything, then chances are all your cooldowns are going to be messed up. Oh, it depends, I suppose. Um, it, there's enough of us that probably can just auto every one of them. But if you are playing it, it's going to screw up your cooldowns and everything. So you got a kind of, I don't know, if you're doing it that route anyway, it would be a. Uh, monitor it and then take manually take control near the end but it's still laborious having to just chew through all that bonus protection or just slap a snips in your squad and they go boom 35k yeah so <laughs> getting near the end of the first one now so that, as i say this is the mythic one I, we all probably can i just wanted as i say to uh to just showcase if you hadn't tried it just how effective she is i mean could be well worth you won't get the procs and everything i suppose but you could just slap her into a jkr squad and you know reduce the battle time by 30 seconds I'm sure that that will make a huge difference. I don't know. As I'm waffling on about this, I'm wondering now, is it that of it that in much interest? But <laughs> I did it. It's done. How many more stages? Uh, we've got the the bugly one. So yeah. Um, A lot of us, of course, are working on Galactic Republic. Not everyone's unlocked Padme. Um, but I think that GK does make... I mean, maybe we'll get some other good leads, but GK does make a great um, Galactic Republic lead. And if you do combine with a Zated Barris, then... I think they've got crit immunity constantly as well. Does negate. I don't know if you put... The, no? No one's got the Zeta on him, so... Um, we're not getting crit much, are we? No. Yeah, I'm just... I'm padding. Here we go. Final encounter. So we've got the, the, the floaty droid thing that does all the horrible... Um, protection up and normally you want to target that from the get-go um, me I just want to get rid of the the one tune that's gonna steal all my buffs let's face it the, Je the Jedi's do do like a buff or two. Oh wow sorry I'm <laughs> I've commentated all the way through this and I realize now that I'm watching on my iPad because half the screen's obscured by um, by the recording things. Um, yeah, 
I'm now watching the correct one. I'll, and I won't be ahead of time with the commentary. So, <clears throat> yeah, summarization. Um, slapping Ahsoka into a Jedi squad uh, really does uh, make the, oh, it takes away the bonus protection, um, extending the battle times. I mean, obviously, you know, going against Dooku, they're going to take a while because he is Dooku, he's the boss, and you know, you're expecting the boss to put up a fight. Um, but yeah. This is how I spent my su Sunday morning. Having my coffee and sending in a load of Jedi to sort out Mr. Gnarly. I'm just having a bit of fun by having all the assists and mass attacks and everything. Ta-da! And I had to proc a soak for the win. And that's it. That is Yorkie getting his two Omegas on the Mythic tier with that Galactic Republic. So now we're switching over to uh, my main account. This is the Mike Hunt account. Um, and we're going into the highest one that I can run, Five Star Tunes, because I did the Shakti event. I unlocked her and just been playing around um, with her under a Padme lead, which led me to think after doing the Yorkie one, well, why don't we see how she works? So she's the five star, as I say, so we're only going tier five. We're not going to the, the hardest of all, the mythic tier with that, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, it was early days, but from what I've experienced with her so far, she's um, definitely a person of interest, what she brings in. Um, ironically, the, the one squad that I haven't run her with is clothes. Um, in actual fact, I can amend that statement and pretty much say that the only way I've run her so far is in Galactic Republic. Um, but yeah, I'm sure that, you know, further testing, she's, she's really looking like a great tune to go in pretty much. Any of the light side squads... And then we can all theory craft and um, maybe slap her in with a Revan squad or something and see what that goes. But, hmm. Uh, yeah, so this one I think is, is. This one should be pretty quick. They're all geared. Um, the only character in this squad that doesn't have a Zeta is Shakti. But we're still doing the same Ahsoka um, bonus protection meh. And with all the buffs and everything, it was it was quite refreshing to be uh, taking out the floaty things at the, as the last two, rather than normally trying to target them and get them gone from the get-go. Wow, there was a lot of gets in there. I suppose that's the current topic because we need lots of gets to uh, acquire said get store shards. I am really rambling now, I'm sorry. Um, it's a double video, I've got to pad it out a long way. <laughs> uh, we're almost there. Yeah, it's. I mean, this is only really PVE squad that you would ever do this, just as a, uh, have an option. Or 
if you're in the position where, as I say, covered before, you don't have Padme or Jedi Knight Revan or whatever, then this is one that, you know, other than having to... Actually, no, yeah. This was one that you can... You, I'm sure you can build. The, uh... uh I do like the Zeta on Ahsoka. Um... And it works de detrimentally to her against Darth Revan, but you know, the signposted announced from the, the start, Galactic Republic aren't intended to beat and compete with Darth Revan, but anyone else, fair game. Well, there's no Darth Revan here, and yeah, boom. Actually, that's not her. I'm thinking actually of possibly doing. Because there's these two, of course, Jack T and Ahsoka, and there's Fulcrum, and there's Ayla. I'm just wondering who's the fifth one with the funky hair. Who else can we add in? Okay, so um, speeding up because we're about to wrap this up. I shall thank you very much for watching. Do we go through and have a look at? Were there any of interest? There's another video of Yorkie doing a load of uh, leveling up of these mods. But yeah, that was it. Snips against this bonus protection malarkey and just cutting through it. Thank you for watching.